Just a little update on the 1962 Ford Unibody long wheelbase F250 Unibody. Even more different. Low car floor mount. Remove the column shifter. Redo the dash a little bit. Starting with my sound insulation. Gotta put my seats in eventually. Wiring's all done. Updated wiring. Not painless, but speedway. Much cheaper, served my needs just fine. Engine's ready to fire. We had a couple mishaps in the valve train. Um, it's a couple electrical things, but I think we're, we're looking good. She's full of fluids, ready to go. Um, Ford 429, came out of a 71 Lincoln, I believe. My father, uh, before he passed away, uh, restored it. Did a little bit of work, got a Wee in stealth intake, Holly 750, thanks to Norm Long, paint by Norm Long. Um, a lot of the advice was from my father, Roger Roy and Norm Long. Um, nowadays, it's Norm's the main reason why this truck is as incredible as it is. So here's a little update on the photo, or uh, the front end, I should say. Sorry, I'm not very good at doing videos. It's incredible how it came out. Um, all steel, all magnetic still. Looks insane with the grill in it. I'll give updated photo once it's installed with the parking lights and everything, but it really, really looks like Ford did it. Um, and 62 put the most beautiful front end on the truck that's hit the six, so. I mean, the grill makes everything, but. Yeah, big uh, 67 Imperial radiator, huge three core. Uh, that was done over for me, record, um, with some of the best cores I think around from JR, Richard Libby at uh, Lincoln Street Radiator. They do amazing work there. Kept the original battery location. Tried, found a nice, all blacked out. Well, took a couple of decals off, but very simple looking battery. Kept it nice and clean. The inner fenders aren't in yet, but they will be. And uh, just dropped off my wood at West Mine at Millwork. Dave Clark out there in West Mine at Maine. Uh, they they are true craftsmen, so he's they're the ones responsible for the wood. It's a Sapile marine type wood I'm putting in here. It's gonna look dynamite. Uh, I'll have updates on that. Relocation came out real good. Um, couldn't be happy with that. Took a while to find my shocks, but I figured that out. Uh, drive shaft Williams Brothers out in West Westbrook or Portland, Maine. They did my drive shaft. Actually asked me to take my truck down there. To measure it so that if they were wrong it was their fault uh, that was a that was the deal breaker for me I'm like these guys in you know of course they came recommended by Norm Long so I took that seriously as well but to hear that I knew these guys are the real deal so super confident in that turning true and not vibrating um, so yeah a lot of work to go neutral safety switch installed radio wires there having Everything's plugs, everything's done. Um, except doing the sound, sound deadening going on. And interior is not really, I, I'll sit on a milk crate to take this thing down the road with no glass in it too. I mean, so pumped to fire this thing, it's not even funny. So um, hopefully Sunday, this Sunday, October, let's see, uh, 14th, 2018. I hope I hear a sputter and we can break in the cam, you know, set the RPM 2,500, three grand for about a half hour, break in the cam and yeah, test drive, <laughs> then find all kinds more problems. So stay tuned. Uh, I hope you're as excited about it as I am. It's been very hush hush. Um, it's, it's definitely a tribute truck to my father, you know, losing him almost five years ago when we started this. Uh, it's been a very big struggle, so I'm pretty proud of it. And I'm going to turn the camera here. Um, yeah, the thing is just insane. It's a little high off the ground, it's on some dollies, but it's a nice main low stance. Um, it's gonna be fun watching guys scratch their head, try to figure out what they're looking at. <laughs> All right, 10-4, over and out, folks.